Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I wanted to show you the trick for fully deleting your local Git repo, especially one that might have been created with the git init command. So here's my repo to delete. I haven't actually created a repo here yet. I'm just going to do git init, and that just basically creates a brand new repository. And I can touch a hello world hello file, and I can touch a world file. I can do a git add, a git commit. And there we go, we've actually got a real Git repository with a Git history and everything. I can do Git ref log and you can see, well, there's a whole history of commits and a main branch and everything. Um, if you ever wanted to create a new branch, I could go Git checkout dash B other branch. And uh, yeah, you can see that this is a fully working Git directory. Okay, now how do you delete it? Well, some people might think you just delete these two files, but you know what, if you did that, that wouldn't actually delete the directory. So I'm gonna delete those files right now, and then come over here and say git init, and I'm just gonna say, you can't reinitialize an existing git repository. It's like, how does it know this is a git repository? There's nothing in there. Um, so you wonder, is there some hook, or sort of in the git installation folder or something like that? You know, git gets installed up here for my environment. Well, no, the trick is inside this git repo, there's a hidden directory named .git. And if you go, if you're on Windows and you say, change the folder options, Go to view and show hidden files, click apply, click OK, click OK, click apply. Look at that, the hidden .git directory appears, and this is really the essence of that local git directory created with init. So how do you delete that? Well, I could just right click on that folder and select delete and that will delete it. Um, now some people get tricky and they think, oh no, I don't trust Windows to delete it. So, you know, I want to do the rm-fr recursive.git. So that'll recursively remove every file that's inside a directory of .git. So you can do that. After doing that, those files are definitely gone. There's nothing there anymore. The nice thing about the rm command is it, uh, it doesn't even put them into your, where doesn't it put them? It doesn't even put them into your trash can. So people can't even find it, can't even resurrect it. But you will notice that that branch name is now gone. Why? Because I am not in Git anymore. Git has been completely removed. So that's how you do it. Either just delete the git.git folder that uh, is not visible or run this command just in case you don't know how to um, make those files visible again. And notice if I do git in it once more, it'll say, hey, this file is now initialized. Previously, when there was that hidden git file and we tried to do git in it, it said you can't reinitialize an existing repository to prove that that git folder was really gone when we issued that command, we ran that git init file again and it worked. And again, you can just delete it like that. That also works too. So there you go. That is how you fully delete your local git repo, especially one created with the git init command. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, you appreciated its brevity, why don't you subscribe to me on YouTube? You can also follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ, and I'm also the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. So if you want to learn more about Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, and enterprise software development, head over 